Let's go back in time to January 1st, 1925, a remarkable day when we made a groundbreaking discovery. Thanks to the brilliant work of Edwin Hubble, we learned that our Milky Way galaxy is not alone in the vast cosmos. This discovery unveiled the concept of an expanding universe and hinted at an initial Big Bang event. During his observations of distant galaxies, Hubble noticed an intriguing pattern. He found that the speed at which a galaxy moves away from us, known as its recessional velocity, is directly proportional to its distance. In simple terms, the farther a galaxy is, the faster it moves away. This remarkable relationship is now known as Hubble's Law. Although this law seems straightforward, it holds one of the universe's greatest mysteries, the Hubble Constant. This constant acts as a bridge between the two sides of the equation in Hubble's Law. But why is this constant so crucial for cosmologists? What valuable insights can we gain by accurately measuring it? Most importantly, recent observations from the Hubble Space Telescope have revealed some perplexing discrepancies in our understanding of the universe. Over the years, researchers have tirelessly attempted to determine the value of the Hubble constant, hoping to bring clarity to our cosmic knowledge. However, each time they made progress, the results only added more confusion, leading to what is now known as a cosmology crisis. Before we delve into this crisis, let's first understand the physical significance of the Hubble constant. It establishes a direct relationship between a galaxy's recessional velocity and its distance from us. Imagine measuring this velocity in kilometers per second and the distance in megaparsecs. The Hubble constant then represents the extra velocity a galaxy gains per megaparsec of its distance from us. Let's symbolize this constant as h naught. The Hubble constant plays a significant role in cosmology as it allows us to comprehensively test our understanding of the universe, from its birth in the Big Bang to its ultimate fate. Although the physical representation of h naught may seem easy to grasp, determining its precise value proves to be a notoriously tricky task. Calculating the Hubble constant observationally requires two key measurements, the recessional velocity of a galaxy and its distance from us. The recessional velocity can be determined by observing shifts in the wavelength of spectral lines emitted by the galaxy, known as cosmological redshift. However, measuring the distance to a galaxy presents a more challenging obstacle. One standard method involves studying Cepheid variables within the galaxy. Cepheids are variable stars that go through a cycle of maximum to minimum brightness and back. The duration of this cycle directly relates to the star's intrinsic brightness. By comparing the observed and actual brightness of Cepheids, astronomers can estimate their distance using a formula called the distance modulus equation. Cepheids serve as cosmic beacons, but their use requires calibration with nearby Cepheids, whose distance can be accurately measured through parallax. This stepwise measurement of cosmic distances is referred to as the cosmic distance ladder. However, uncertainties accumulate at each step of the ladder, adding complexity to the calculations. Edwin Hubble managed to plot the relationship between distance and recessional velocity for 46 galaxies, yielding an initial value for the Hubble constant. This value was approximately 500 kilometers per second per megaparsec, around seven times what astronomers believe it to be today. Yet this method of using cepheids is limited to distances ranging from 1 kiloparsec to 50 megaparsecs. What about distances greater than this range? To obtain a precise estimate, we need to explore even farther, and that's where Type 1 a supernovae come into play. Type 1 a supernovae occur when a white dwarf star, feeding off its companion, undergoes a runaway fusion, resulting in a powerful explosion. These supernovae emit an extraordinary amount of light, making them excellent standard candles for calculating larger distances. The supernova H0 for the equation of state of dark energy, SH0ES project, has made significant contributions by using type 1, a supernova, to measure the universe's expansion rate. In 2019, the SH0ES team reported a Hubble constant value of approximately 74 kilometers per second per megaparsec. To validate this value, it is crucial to compare it with theoretical predictions. This requires us to travel back in time to measure the universe's expansion rate just after the Big Bang. By doing so, researchers discovered a crisis. 
the predicted and observed values of the Hubble constant differ significantly. Shortly after the Big Bang, the universe underwent an immense release of energy, heating up all matter. As the universe expanded, the radiation from this event became increasingly redshifted. The cosmic microwave background, CMB, residual electromagnetic radiation from the early universe, provides valuable insights into the extent of this redshift. Researchers combined fundamental physics with estimates of mass and energy in the universe to model its expansion from its initial state to the present day. With various precise methods, these predictions converged on a value between 67 to 68 kilometers per second per megaparsec, contrasting the observational values. This mismatch between theory and observation has created a significant crisis in the field of cosmology. Scientists have been striving for greater accuracy in their observational measurements, and recently, they achieved a remarkable milestone. The SH-0ES team carefully reviewed extensive data, including over 1,000 orbits of the Hubble Space Telescope, and analyzed 42 supernovae markers. These markers explode at a rate of approximately one per year, marking a near-complete analysis of all accessible supernovae data. The team has now estimated the Hubble constant to be around 73 kilometers per second per megaparsec, with a precision of plus or minus one kilometer per second per megaparsec. This value once again exceeds the theoretical predictions of 67.5 plus or minus 0.5 kilometers per second per megaparsec. However, due to the large sample size and improved precision, there is only a one in a million chance of this new estimate being incorrect. While the exact cause of this discrepancy between predicted and observed values remains uncertain, these new results are expected to unlock the door to new physics and unveil fascinating discoveries. Astronomers are also exploring alternative methods to measure distances in the universe, such as neutron star mergers and red giant stars. Additionally, the upcoming NASA Webb Space Telescope promises even sharper resolution and more precise results in the future. If you enjoyed this video and want to explore more fascinating topics about space, cosmology, and the mysteries of our universe, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Don't miss out on our future videos that will continue to inspire and amaze you.